It's maybe small, but it's it's big. And it's big and small. I don't know how else to describe it. Working at PEAR has been a life-changing experience for me. It has helped me start a framework. Made me question a lot of ideas like materialism, reductionism. It certainly has inspired and helped me grow in many ways. We are in the sea of consciousness. Everybody has it. Everybody is conscious. The purpose of our laboratory is to study the interaction of human consciousness with random physical systems and to ask the basic question of what is the role of consciousness in the physical world. The human mind and the information processing machines seem to be entering into some sort of a dialogue. A little shift to the right. It's as if the probabilities are being changed. Hi, welcome to Pear. Come on in. But what is statistically interesting is if I now take this database and divide it between male and female operators. Now we are seeing the data displayed as a graph of the cumulative deviation of the mean. You know, everybody's skeptical at first, especially if they're in a field like statistics. They're like, well, if you test for this and this and this, and you go through a big list. When it comes to areas like memory, knowledge, or perception, some of the variables may be inherently uncontrollable. The results you find are unlikely by chance to better than one part in 10 to the 12th. That's one part in a trillion.